It's easy to do an analysis of variance, a one-way ANOVA, in Excel using the QI macros. All you need is some data. So here we have some data for paper bags, and we're doing different hardwood concentrations. We're comparing it at 5, 10, 15, 20 percent. You can just simply select the data with your mouse, and then most people may or may not know that your data needs to be normal before you run an ANOVA. The QI Macro Stat Wizard will take a look at that data and go out and do an Anderson Darling test to determine if your data is normal or not, and then it'll actually go do the ANOVA and also add in the uh, Levine's test so that you can tell about the variance. So in this case, it'll come back and tell you the data is normal, the variances are the same, but the means are different, which is what we wanted to know to begin with. And the QI macros will do a couple more things than Excel will possibly do. First, we interpret the p-value right here. You want to reject the null hypothesis because our p is less than 0.05, which means the means are different. It'll do post hoc analysis, and it'll go determine that, yes, indeed, we have some uh, differences amongst our different 5 versus 10, 15, 20 percent. The only one where there's no interaction is 10 and 15. And if you look at the box plot, which we provide in the QI macros, you can see here that 10 and 15 are pretty close. This one has a little wider spread. This one's lower, and that one's higher. Now, you could also do this in Microsoft Excel. But what you have to do is come in, go into Options and Add-ins, and turn on the Analysis Tool Pack. And once you do that, you can come out to Data and go to Data Analysis. And then we go up to ANOVA Single Factor. And here we want to select the data, so we're going to select these and tell it it's got labels in the first row. And so you have to do a lot of data selection and other things to kind of tell Excel what to do. And then when you click on that, it'll actually go do the analysis. Uh, it'll come up with a p-value using ex uh, exponential notation here, and so scientific notation. So that's not really going to help us out that much. And we get n none of the other uh, information from the post hoc text or actually a uh, box and whisker plot. So again, in the QI macros, it's really simple. You can either go to the stat wizard or you can come down here and run an ANOVA single factor. It'll prompt you for the level of significance we're going to work on, alpha. And go ahead and calculate all of this for you. You can also, unlike Excel, you can also change the alpha value and it'll redistribute all of your numbers here. All right, so we could actually go out to various different levels and determine just exactly how uh, significant these changes are. So that's the easy way to do a one-way ANOVA using the QI macros in Microsoft Excel.